All right, so you live in New York and you are wondering what it's like to live in Georgia. Maybe you just want to understand the difference between the number three economy in the country and the number 10 economy in the country. There are a lot of people moving to Georgia, especially from places like New York, and I get questions all the time about what it's like to live in Georgia. So in this video, you guessed it, I'm going to be talking about what it's like to live in Georgia, and I'm going to compare what it's like to live in Georgia to what it's like to live in New York. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's jump right into it. Hey everybody, my name is Tim Gibson and I am a realtor in North Georgia. My channel is all about real estate in North Georgia. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, if you're thinking about moving to the area, please reach out. My contact info is on the screen. Okay, I'm going to give you a disclaimer like I have in some of my other videos. We're talking about really broad topics. We're talking about entire states here. So there's really no way for me to give you very great detail on both of these states. What we're trying to do is just give you a basic overview so that you can understand some of the basics about living in Georgia versus living in a place like New York. And really nobody wants to see me do a four hour long video of all the details about what it's like to live in New York versus Georgia. So we're going to keep it short and sweet just to give you the high notes so you can make a better decision about whether you want to move to Georgia or not. All right. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into a basic overview. As I was doing some basic research on the two states, oddly enough, I noticed that they are almost the same size. Georgia is actually a little bit bigger than New York. Georgia is a little over 59,000 square miles and New York is about 54,500 square miles. So I also wanted to mention the state economies here. New York, as you can imagine, is a very large economy. New York actually ranks number three in the country as far as state economies go and Georgia ranks number eight. If you were curious about what the number one largest state economy is, that would be California. Without getting into really great detail on the state economies, Georgia's economy is about a third of what New York's is. When we talk about weather, I would say that Georgia's weather is going to be more mild and moderate as compared to New York's, mostly because of the winter. New York is known for some pretty brutal winters, especially upstate New York. And Georgia can have some cold winters, especially can have some hot summers. But uh, those winter times in Georgia don't compare to anything what you can get in New York. Georgia doesn't get a ton of snow in the winter time, and everybody knows that New York gets a lot of snow in the winter. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and say that's why Georgia's weather is a good bit more mild than New York's. Now we're going to talk about lifestyle between the two states. I have been to New York quite a few times. I've been to New York City multiple times. And then I've also been to upstate New York quite a few times. So I'm not just reading this stuff off the internet. Of course, I've never lived in New York, but I do have at least some experience there. And everybody knows that New York City is a fast paced city. It's noisy, just a lot going on. The city that never sleep had some amazing food in New York City. Also, New York City has great public transportation. But then upstate New York is actually pretty comparable to North Georgia. It's a beautiful place. There's mountains, there's lakes, access to outdoors. It's quiet, a lot of small towns, very similar to North Georgia in those regards. And as far as the largest city in Georgia goes, Atlanta is a very urban area, but it's not as densely packed in as New York City is for obvious reasons, because New York is on an island. Atlanta is a very busy city. One major thing about Atlanta is that there is not great public transportation for a major city, especially compared to a place like New York City, which has a subway system. You got all the cabs, you got everything going on in New York. Atlanta does have the MARTA public transportation system. We do have some trains, some buses, but it's not nearly as robust as New York City's. With that being said, you are probably going to need a car if you live in or around Atlanta. That's just the way it goes. And by contrast, in New York City especially, like you don't even really need a car. So just think about that if you were thinking about moving to the area. Another thing about Georgia that I wanted to throw out there is the Southern hospitality thing. Southern hospitality is real. You will get random strangers looking at you, making eye contact, waving, saying, how you doing? Slower pace of life, of course. And by contrast, New York City is especially. I've been there probably, I don't know, almost 10 times, I'd say. And you don't get a whole lot of eye contact. You don't have people on the street just making eye contact with you. You're really trying to avoid that if you're in New York City. You don't have people waving at you. Mostly people are just looking straight ahead and walking to the next destination. They don't have time to talk to you. So that's one thing to note there. All right, so let's jump into some education, especially higher education. We all know that New York has some prestigious universities. A couple that I wanted to mention are Columbia University, NYU, New York University, 
and Cornell, great institutions there. And Georgia is not nearly as well known for higher education, but does have some great schools. Most notably, you have Georgia Tech, which is one of the best engineering schools in the country. And you also have Emory University, which is I think in the top 25 in the country as well. So now we're gonna jump into cost of living between the two states. We are gonna see some major differences between New York and Georgia, especially in the cities, the large cities, New York City and Atlanta. So let's jump into this real quick. We're gonna put a chart up on the screen so you can follow along with me. I'm not gonna go through the entire list here, but I'm just gonna give you a general overview. So looks like New York is about 21.5% higher cost of living than the average of the United States. And Georgia by comparison is about 94.5%. So Georgia is a little cheaper than the rest of the United States and New York's about 22% higher. Looks like housing costs in New York are about 28% higher than the rest of the country. And Georgia is about 82, 83% of what it costs to live in the rest of the country. So you can see there, it's a lot cheaper to live in a state like Georgia. We're gonna compare Atlanta versus New York City now. Pretty interesting differences here. As you can imagine, it's really expensive to live in New York City. New York City is about 69% higher than the rest of the country as far as cost of living goes. And Atlanta is about 9.5% higher. Again, to reiterate the same point, the housing cost in New York is significantly higher than it is in Georgia. Now, housing costs in New York City are about triple the cost elsewhere in the country. And Georgia is about 12% higher. The median home cost in New York City is about $677,000. And in Georgia, you can see it's about half that, $364,000. So yeah, everybody knows that real estate in New York is super expensive. And if you wanted to live in a major city with lower home prices, then you could choose a place like Atlanta. I also wanted to just show you how far your money goes in New York City versus Atlanta. I picked an arbitrary number here, $200,000 income. Yours could be higher or lower, but you would only need about $130,000 to have the same lifestyle in Atlanta versus New York City. If you want your money to stretch further, then come to Georgia. Let's jump into some taxes. I know y'all love to talk about taxes, so do I. Just kidding. All right, I pulled some state income tax information off of the Tax Foundation website. We're looking at the top marginal rate in each state. Georgia comes in at 5.75%, and New York is almost double that at 10.9%. That's a lot of state tax to pay if you're living in New York. And as you can tell on the rest of this map here, Georgia is relatively low compared to the rest of the country, and New York is near the top as far as state income tax rates go. All right, that's enough about taxes. Let's go ahead and talk about the economies of each state. So New York State is a massive economy. It actually would rank 10th in the world if it were a country. And as you could probably guess, the vast majority of the economy in New York is centralized in New York City. In fact, about 80% of the entire economy of New York is centralized in New York City. We're gonna just read down a couple of the Fortune 500 companies that are located in New York. You have JP Morgan, Verizon, Citigroup, IBM, MetLife, PepsiCo, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Pfizer, and this isn't the full list. You have American Express and AIG, actually a little more than 10% of the Fortune 500 companies in America are located in New York. By contrast, Georgia's economy compared to New York's economy, I think Georgia is about a third of the economy of New York, but Georgia would be a top 30 economy in the world if it were its own country. It is a growing economy, centralized in Atlanta, of course. There are also quite a few Fortune 500 companies based in Georgia. Most notably, you have Home Depot, you have UPS, you have Delta Airlines, and you have Coca-Cola, you have Cox Energy, Enterprises, Aflac, and the Southern Company, which is a big power company. One thing to note about Georgia as well is very business friendly. It actually has ranked the number one most favorable state for business the past nine years. And that's according to Area Development Magazine. So pretty interesting there. Lots of companies are moving into Georgia because of its business friendly policies. All right. So last but not least, my favorite part, as you know, is real estate. And I want to just give you a quick comparison to show you what you can buy for the same price in Georgia versus New York. All right, let's go with New York first, and we're gonna go with the price point of a million dollars. I'm sure you've probably heard the old cliche, what are the three most important words in real estate? That's location, location, location. So that's a, obviously a major factor, but this house here we pulled, this is coming from Zillow. So in New York, for about a million dollars, you can have an apartment, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and you're on Park Avenue. So location is amazing. You're obviously in the middle of New York. An interesting thing to note about this, the HOA fee, $3,536 per month 
month for an HOA fee. We don't have anything as far as square footage goes, but with two bedrooms, two bathrooms, I can imagine it's probably gonna be pretty small. But then again, you are living in New York City and you're on Park Avenue. So really no comparison as far as locations go, but I did wanna show you what you can get for about a million dollars in Atlanta. So as you can see on the screen, you're obviously getting a massive house and not an apartment. Again, you're not in New York City, but hey, you are in Atlanta, which is a major city. This one is a bit above a million dollars, but you get six bedrooms, five bathrooms, 5,750 square feet. You're on almost an acre of property. You get a three car garage. It's pretty wild how much you can get for your money in a place like Atlanta versus somewhere like New York. So as you can see, your money is gonna stretch so much further in Atlanta versus New York City as far as housing goes. I know we're comparing apples and oranges a little bit here, but hey, everybody needs a place to live. And it's pretty wild to just show you the stark comparison between what you can get in New York versus what you can get in Atlanta. So if you're thinking about moving to Georgia, Atlanta, North Georgia, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help. All right, what did you think about the comparison between New York and Georgia? I know that was very general. Leave me some comments. Tell me what your thoughts are, especially if you have been to New York and Georgia, or if you live in either one of the states. Of course, leave any questions that you have about living in Georgia, especially if there's something that I didn't cover. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.